During this video, I'm going to be showing you how to log into iReady for reading and math. Um, if you don't know what that is, um, it is a program that provides lessons to your child based off of where they are in reading or math. So the program actually automatically assigns them a reading or math lesson to do based off of their achievement in class. Um, all of the accomplishments and completed lessons can be viewed by the teacher and we're going to go over that a little bit later. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is in any web browser, um, I'm using Google Chrome. I know for a fact that it works on Google Chrome. Um, you can try other web browsers. Um, it might also work on a tablet. Um, there's also apps you can get for tablets called iReady. So if you wanna search in the app store, it should be free. Um, if not, you can just open up a computer and go to login.i-ready.com. Um, and you should see this exact screen there. Um, your child uh, should click on that little alien guy that's in that circle next to that number two. Um, that will bring them to their K1 login card. Um, if you don't have that login card or if your child doesn't have those numbers memorized, which they might, um, then that paper that was sent home the last Friday that we all saw you um, had the username and password in that box in the middle so you can just plug those in there and it should take you to the right place. All right, so when you click on that little monster alien, whatever he is, guy, you should see um, a place and it'll say type in your class number. Um, all the class numbers are the same for each class. So everyone in my class will have the same class number. Everyone in another kindergarten class will have the same class number and it'll pull up every student in the class, but each student can only get in with their special password. Um, after you type in the number, you should see this screen that has some names. Now, some of you might be wondering why your student's name is not on this screen. And if you click that arrow that's in that circle, it'll take you to another page and you'll be able to find your child's name. Um, some of your children will be able to do this by themselves. All you'll need to do is just get them to that initial login screen there. So once you click on your name, um, your child should see uh, a place to enter their picture code in. So this information is on the K1 login card and your child might actually have their picture code memorized. If they have that memorized, they'll be able to type it in and get started, great. Um, if you need that K1 login card, just message me and I will send you a picture of it so that your child can log in to iReady. So once you log in with that picture code, you're going to see a screen where it says choose a subject, reading or math. So you can actually access both the reading lessons and the math lessons with just the one login card. So um, the username and the password, all of that is the same. So make sure that your child is spending time in both reading and math. So I sent out a note saying about 20, 25 minutes. Um, if you just complete a lesson every day in reading or math, and then maybe do some more practice, that would be fantastic. But what I don't want to happen is that your child is doing reading or math for an hour or something and they're not even touching the other subject. So just make sure that whatever amount of time they're spending in reading, they're also spending that time in math. Um, even though they might enjoy reading or math better than the other one, it's very important for them to continue learning in both subjects right now, especially while we're out. Okay, so the last step is that once you click reading or math, it will say next lesson. Now there's some more things at the bottom down there. That's mainly stuff for parents. So if you wanna click um, the progress and just see how far into the lesson your child has completed, like if you put them on the computer and let them kind of do their iReady lesson and you wanna come back in and check later, you can um, exit out of the lesson and click my progress to see how far they are. Um, there's also learning games for extra learning, um, but I highly, highly recommend and I am saying that you need to do the lessons first before you do any of the learning games um, because the lessons actually go through a progression and it will teach your child um, that standard and then it will have them practice it and then it will have them take a test over it. So. <clears throat> 
make sure that your child is completing lessons you'll need to just click where that cursor is that little green box it'll say next lesson or it'll say continue lesson if your child started a lesson previously um, it saves where all of the lessons are so if you need to stop to eat lunch or stop go to the bathroom or whatever you can log out of it and it will pick back up right where it left off in the lesson for your child um, from my end being the teacher I can see which lessons are in progress which lessons are completed I can also go into each individual student and see um, their progress as far as how many of the questions they got right and if they struggled with anything and that is very helpful for me as a teacher to know what we might need to go back over when we return to school so that is it for this video if you have any questions um, about how to log in if this was not clear to you um, or if you really need that K1 login card that has the picture to it, just message me and let me know and I'd be more than happy to send you a picture. Um, I'm going to continue checking my iReady to see who is logging in every day, but this is a really great tool, especially um, if you're from a Spanish-speaking family and you want to do reading lessons with your child, um, they can log into iReady and they can do it independently and you can check their progress for them. So that is all I have. Um, just let me know if you have any questions and I can't wait to see you guys soon.